Go. All right, everybody, Hibbert Akers here signing on. We're making some stair stringers today. First time making stair stringers, so bear with me if I uh, talk out of lingo. I don't know, but I got a jig set up here. I got a run, which is the step that you step on. The run is 10 inches. So my jig here is set up for 10 inches. And then I got a rise, so it would look like this. The step would be here, flat part. And then I got a rise of seven and a half inches. So you set your jig up. I don't know if I won't go into detail about this, but you set your jig up so it's 10 inches here to here to the corner of this, and then seven and a half to the corner here. And you just clamp it down on there with a framing square. And then you just set it up on the side. And now you're perfectly lined up to make your uh, your rise and your run. So you set it down, and you want to make sure your lines match up because the wood is rounded over. So you got to make sure you're eyeballing your lines. Don't put your line like so or like so. You want to make sure your eyeball is lined up with the line that comes across the board here. So you just make a line, make a line, and then you move on to the next one. And then you line up your next line. You eyeball it up the best you can, put a line down, and run a line down. And we got 12 steps. This is going up to my second floor from my second floor. But go ahead and pan over to the landing over there and the first uh, run I made. Very nice, nice set of stairs there for the landing. That was my practice run. And then now we're going to go up to the second floor. Yep, right up there. So that's what we're doing. So uh, we'll uh, keep going with this, but I'll fast forward through this process. And then we'll show you the uh, cutting it out. Now to square off the Sign off. <laughs> 